the holidays are right around the corner. And so I wanted to give you eight tips to avoid going broke this holiday season. I'm going to break it up over the course of four videos just to give you two tips for each video. The first thing you want to do is set limits. And there's a few reasons for this. It's very easy to just grab things randomly over the next few weeks, uh, next few months as you're shopping, just thinking, hey, this would be awesome as a gift and just kind of keep piling in without actually giving it much thought as far as how much value it's going to have to the recipient. And the reality is that if you do set these limits, it does just make you pause a second and actually think. It just kind of creates a filter for what <laughs> is actually going to add value to uh, the recipient of the gifts that you're going to be given. And that easily gets rid of and saves a lot of money, especially if that's you. If you were thinking to yourself like, oh yeah, I grab stuff every week now uh, through the month of October, November, and December, all the way up until Christmas. So once you set those limits, it helps to refine and filter out some of those things. And that's valuable because people don't have enough time as it is to, to deal with the stuff they already have. And so uh, these new things that you might be purchasing, they may not even get used. So just keep that in perspective. The next tip is going to be avoiding purchases before the holiday season. I know a huge thing I just see all the time, especially like Facebook is a big one. You can kind of see these things happening, but people buying themselves gifts <laughs> before the holidays, treating themselves during the holiday season, uh, well before buying gifts even for uh, children, friends, family, spouses, before the holidays even come. And what that does is it, it just makes it harder to actually get good gifts because if you're always buying stuff for yourself that you need or want all the time, it's just it's so much harder for other people to give gifts to you. But the same thing for them. If you're buying things kind of on demand and they always have that instant gratification, they're not necessarily going to enjoy the presents that they get in Christmas nearly as much as they could if uh, there was that kind of delayed gratification. Less is more. And I, I know uh, people say that for a lot of different things, but it definitely is true around the holiday season just because there's only so much time that people can spend playing or utilizing the different gifts, gadgets, things that you may be purchasing for them. Just doing that will help in a lot of ways. And so instead of your buying yourself stuff, go ahead and throw that on a secret Santa list. That's going to help other people feel more confident that you're actually going to enjoy the gift because you're going to allow them to purchase it for you and you tell them what it is that you, that you want them to purchase. Skip eating out. So this actually works to be beneficial two ways because holiday season is a notorious time for people to bulk up, break some personal records as far as weight goes and not in a good way. And so avoiding eating out during the holidays when you know that you're going to be having some massive meals or having uh, that option around you, it just helps you save money and definitely. But then it also, yeah, helps you avoid some of those extra calories when you know that you're probably going to be eating a little bit more during those specific meals during that season too. So uh, definitely helpful. You'll save a lot of money from eating out a lot less there. The fourth one is just me researching what it is that you're going to be purchasing. So when, when you're shopping for gifts, you might be able to find some good sales. So uh, researching, planning ahead, all those things are going to be helpful as far as making sure that you save money, that you stay in budget too, because if you're researching and planning ahead, you're able to know how these different uh, dollar amounts are going to fit within that budget constraint. And also, if you start doing this ahead of time, uh, I know it's early October now, but it, you're able to find not only good sales, but then also take advantage of purchasing enough things from the, the same place so that you can get free shipping. You don't have to rush shipping and pay $10, $20 or whatever rush shipping can cost you. It depends on the item size, I'm sure. Obviously, Amazon helps a lot of times with those, but uh, that's not always the case. Amazon doesn't always have everything. And so yeah, if you need to get a rush order, that could cost $20, $30 extra just from having to brush things overnight if you're a procrastinator. Tip number five would be making gifts. So everyone loves personalized handcrafted gifts. And those actually hold a lot more value because when you think about it, what's a common gift that you tend to get to either for your birthday, holidays, whatever it be. It's gift cards, maybe cash is still a thing, but gift cards are, are definitely a big thing. And they're cool. You get to go and pick and choose whatever you want. That's kind of fun. But when someone actually gives you something that's personalized, it shows that they actually know you, care about you, and took the time. And that is so rare in today's day and age where people actually take the time to, to put effort in the things. And so yeah, making gifts actually goes a long way. It might save you some money too. 
the next one is baking gifts. So kind of along the same lines, taking the time to bake gifts. Everyone loves eating special treats, especially if they're treats that are only made around the holidays. I'm sure October's rolling around. People are probably already thinking about like, oh, I can't wait to have grandma's this or aunt's this, cousin this, or maybe uh, a coworker brings something in. So there's always those treats that are just kind of special occasion and people enjoy those. They'll actually remember those. They'll look forward to those every single year. They're not going to be necessarily looking forward to the gift card you're going to give them the, the following year. So baking gifts also helps. And yeah, if you, you shop in bulk at Sam's Club or Costco, you can get a, a lot of flour, a lot of sugar, all that stuff that you need fairly cheap. Tip seven. So starting a side hustle and this this can be a lot of different things. I know what's popular now, it's like Uber, delivering food, DoorDash, those types of things. Those those are an option for sure. Uh, if that isn't your thing, there's other ways you can actually look for different opportunities. There's seasonal jobs that you might be able to do. Maybe there's like a little Christmas store you can help at. There's also things that might be already within your skill range. Maybe you're uh, You'd be able to be a virtual assistant for someone. Maybe if you are in technology, you're familiar with coding, you can go ahead and start building websites for the holidays and Etsy as well. So if you're crafty, you can definitely use Etsy to sell products too. So it'd be something that's fun. It's a good outlet for you, but then you can also make some money from it. So uh, those are some cool options for side hustles. Tip number eight, just be present. It's very common for people not to even take the time or thought uh, into stuff, but a lot of times we're in the same room with people, but we're not really present. We're not really there. Uh, we're staring at our phones. We're looking to see what other people from high school, however long ago it was, don't even really have a great relationship with them or a real relationship with any of them anymore. And you're caring more about those things, throwing likes on, sharing those things. But you have close family, close friends in the same vicinity with you. But the holidays are, are a good time to just start establishing good memories, new memories and experiences and starting to create new traditions too. So I know that's something that I'm very fond of around the holiday season is taking advantage of old traditions, but then integrating new ones as our, my family's starting to, to get older and they're able to start enjoying different things too. So hopefully all those tips are helpful um, or at least one of them is helpful for you because even just implementing one thing would definitely improve your situation. If you're able to make a couple of these things, kind of piece them together, combo them together, you're going to do a lot better, feel a lot more confident when the credit card bill rolls around in January and just be less stressful, be able to be more present and enjoy family this holiday season.